Hello, it's Zachary Triple Seven, and in today's video, I thought I'd show you guys a very cool app called Phrase Express. It's a free app, comes in a portable edition and a installation file. Portable editions for USB and installations, obviously, for a one-time install. Now, this application allows you to have the Microsoft Word autocomplete and spell check no matter where you are. It's not the actual Microsoft Word one, but it is the same thing, but no matter where you are. Now most browsers and most programs do not autocomplete or spell check. And for example, things like Notepad, uh, most browsers, anytime you're typing, unless you're in Microsoft Word or any other program like that, odds are you're not going to have spell check and you're not going to have the autocomplete option. Now this is an app that no matter where you are, it's going to do that for you. So you can create your own auto entries where if you type in a certain um, couple letters, it will complete it for you. And obviously, it is a spell checker. So this is a free app. It works for Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows 8. So it is a free app, obviously. So you can go ahead and do the either the portable edition or the installation file. I will do the portable edition. So the portable edition is a 7.2 megabyte download, so it shouldn't take too long to open. And all you have to do is, after you open it, go ahead and extract it to the easiest location for you. So you can go ahead and when you extract it, it's going to have all of these. So I suggest um, creating a new folder and open it up. And then you can go ahead and extract everything that's in there. And then you can go ahead and open up the actual app. So you might get this option right here. Um, just go ahead and click Allow Access so that it can work properly. And what the app does is it goes right into the corner of your system. So right now it is running. Um, it, you, I will show you guys a bit later how much it uses. But um, you can go ahead now and double click on it. And it shows you last use clipboard. And what you can do is, I believe you double click on it. There we go. It comes up and... And here we can go. So now we can do is we can uh, go to the tools options. We have settings and statistics. So we can see, we can turn off certain things, turn on others. So what we can do is we can go to new phrase. In description, we can go uh, word. And if I type in word, it should change it back to word. So I'm not exactly sure if it's going to work, but we're going to try it out. So if I type in here, you guys see that I typed in W-O-O-R-D, and it switched it to Word. So in the corner there, it um, notified me that it actually did switch it. So boom, right there as well. So I can go easily and hit create new phrase and do the same thing again. So it's very simple to easily add your own phrase in. Um, so I can obviously go ahead. And if you want to add other ones, you can do the line and then type in another mistake. And then it will fix it again. You also have the option to have it do it immediately. Different things like that. So um, if I wanted, I could have it do. So now if I type in. I'm going to have it do this to Hacker 7 And if I type in the hack it will finish it for me so I'll click OK and now I'll go ahead and open up uh, Notepad Notepad does not have a autocomplete function so I go to the hack hit space boom the hack with 7 is in insert or the hack 7 I didn't even put in er anyways guys but you see the purpose of the program um, you can easily adjust stuff and it's great. Now you can do, if you have a company name, anything that, you can easily expand your typing skills because now you can just type in shortcuts and have it expand fast. So this is a great program. I will open up Task Manager. We can see exactly what's happening here. So as you guys can tell, um, my, my CPU usage is really high right now. I'm actually rendering a video. I'm, I'm running actually my next video. Um, so anyway, that's why my CPU usage is really high right now. But anyway, you can see that Phrase Express right here is using 
0% of my CPU and 0% of my network. So you guys can see um, it's basically fine when it comes to CPU usage. It's not going to slow on your computer at all. So I thought I'd show you guys this program. Anyways, guys, that's more for this, this uh, review. Hope you guys do like the video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below. And besides that, guys, happy hacking. See you in my next video, and have a nice day. This is Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.